The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... We are talking today about building the perfect planter for your patio or your deck. I'm here with Bess from One Earth Landscapes. Thanks so much for having me Thanks out, Thanks for Bess. coming. Yeah, this is something that I struggle with personally at my house. I have a deck and I have a whole bunch of planters around and they always look spindly and pathetic, really. So what am I doing wrong? Well, I think a big part of making a planter is really filling it up. Okay. More, you, when you're planting in the ground, you want to have space for things to grow. When you're planting in a planter, you want it to be filled and just filling, billowing over. Okay, and I understand there's, there's fillers, there's thrillers, and spillers. Yes, right? so you need something tall. That's going to be your thriller. It's tall, it's the focal point. Then you want something to fill it in in the center, and then you want something spilling over the sides. Okay, all right, so you're going to demonstrate uh, a little planter yes. for us. Okay, what do you have as our, uh, let's start with the spiller. The spiller, I have Heliochrysum, which is right here. Okay. And this is a trailing variety, so it is going to just fall down. Oh, that's nice. Okay. It's kind of a silvery, soft. Okay. Contrast. Okay, and then for, for thrillers, we want something that's going to grow tall, yes, right? Yes, we want something with height, a grass or a tall flower, something that's going to kind of come up from the center and draw your eye up. Okay, and then for the fillers, you have a petunia here. I have a petunia and a verbena. I okay. have this dark pink verbena and then a black petunia. Oh, they're and really I'm pretty. I'm going to offset them one on each side. I just like the contrast of the black and the pink together. Yeah, so when, your advice when picking out flowers, you want to look for the, those contrasts? Yeah, like, or or sometimes you want all similar, all purples. Like this is going to be, everything in here is purple. Yeah, and I, um, like, I like the contrast, I think, the white and the purple. That's really pretty. Um, okay, so let's talk about fertilizer and our soil, because I think that's really important too, right? Yes, so that's they a big deal. It's a big deal. Okay, what do you use? We use uh, organic earthworm casting. And they're actually made locally in Stanton. Um, it is it's basically worm poop. Really? It's a, that's why worms are so good for your garden. But as they eat through compost and soil, what they leave behind is so rich and so awesome for your plants. And then um, if somebody wants something more functional, of course, we have our herbs as well. Yes. And that's really nice because yes. you're going to get fresh herbs all summer long. Yeah, right? and they're great. I mean, you can grow them in your kitchen, or these are great to just have on your patio. If you don't have a yard and you can't have a garden, a planter full of herbs is the way to get that. Mm -hmm. And these are all organic and non-GMO, yes. right? Yes. So that's nice, too. So if people want to come out, they can ask you for advice on what to put in their planter. Oh yeah, we have people that come and pick out plants and I'll help you plant them and make your own planter or your own hanging basket. If you don't see one that you like, then you can pick them out and we'll make it for you. Awesome. Beth, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.